Hello everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session. This is the physiology question of EMRCS. So uh, let's start the question. In which space is a lumbar puncture performed? So we have to find out the lumbar puncture uh, usually done in the lumbar region of spinal cord. Uh, vertebral column so we have to find out the space where the lumbar puncture are performed uh, the options options are subdural space epidural space sub arachnoid space extra dural space interventricular space so we have to find out one of the space in which lumbar puncture performed that means the csf is collected in which of following spaces or where the csf is located within the spinal canal so now see sample of the csf is normally obtained in inserting needle between the third and fourth lumbar vertebra or fourth and fifth lumbar vertebra and it may collected above but uh, to avoid injury to the spinal cord usually it done in the third and fourth lumbar vertebra but it uh, can be uh, than in um, any uh, lower or other space such as in the lump between the number four number five between the number one number two and number two and number three the tip of the needle lies in the sub arachnoid space so the space is located in the it is the sub arachnoid space the spinal cord terminates at the level of the lumbar one vertebra level this point is important so uh, we want to pass the needle the, below the lumbar one vertebral level so this point is very very important that the spinal cord it terminates in lumbar one vertebral level in case of adult and, and in case of children it uh, reaches up to the lumbar c vertebral level so in case of children there is need more precaution to lumbar puncture and collect c, collecting the cs and here no not a risk of the injury so when the lumbar puncture are done between the lumbar 3, lumbar 4 or lumbar 4, lumbar 5, then there is less, uh, usually no chance of the injury to the spinal cord because the spinal cord, it terminates at the level of the lumbar 1 vertebra in case of the adults and in case of children, it is lumbar 3 vertebra level. Clinical evidence of raised intracranial pressure is contraindicated of the lumbar puncture. Here, this point is very, very important that when there the icp that means the intracranial pressure increases in these cases we know that the spinal cord and the ventricle of the brain they are directly connected to a foramina so if any pressure increases in the brain and spinal cord in the brain uh, or in the ventricle of the brain in the, this case the pressure within the spinal cord will be or spinal canal will be increases so for this if uh, uh, we do the lumbar puncture uh, then what will happen the fluid from the or csf from the spinal cord they release in the higher speed and also from the brain there um, is directed to the spinal cord and release exterior to the body and for this the brain content may herniate through the foramen magnum actually the brain stem can herniate through the foramen magnum and it is the fatal condition because the cardiorespiratory center they are located in the medulla so when brainstem herniation occurs the respiratory and cardiovascular center will be injured hampered or damaged so for this procedure patient will die for this the lumbar puncture in case of raised icp patient it is Indicated. Then here we can see the patient position of lumbar puncture. It may be done in the left lateral position line or sitting position. So any of this it can be obtained. Here we can see this is the lying position and this is the sitting position. Here we can see this heading uh, lies uh, bending forward. And here we can see this is the arachnoid pattern and the digital tip it finally reaches in the sub arachnoid space. So here this is showing the vertebral column, spinal cord and the needle which is punctured through the different structure and this is into the sub arachnoid spaces. Here we can see the uh, this is the needle and this needle is punctured this area and the here we can see this is the termination of the 
the spinal cord so the termination of the spinal cord is more more above than that of the spinal needle insertion point and here we can see this is usually done between the lumbar 3 and lumbar 4 in this area or it may be done between the lumbar 4 and lumbar 5 in this area at b it may also done in the upper space but it is very very dangerous condition because any time the spinal cord may be injured and in the upper space usually not done but if done in this case the expert required so here we can see the spinal needle it raises into the spinal canal and collecting the csf here uh, show, uh, showing some important contraindications here we can see the idiopic cause suspicious or increased icp so any cause which increases the icp it is the contraindication the contraindication that bleeding diets is this is that means the coagulation abnormality then skin infection abnormal respiratory pattern and hypertension in these cases spinal needle insertion or lumbar puncture is contraindicated then here see some other contraindication and here we can see the different structure and the needle so first of all here we can see the most outer structure is the skin and this layer also very very important the which structure passing the spinal needle to recess to the csf and here we can see subcutaneous tissue just uh, below this then here we can see this is a uh, here is a ligament which is a supraspinous ligament here we can see this is the supraspinous ligament then interspinous ligament and ligament of glaba so she, this three ligament is very very important uh, regarding the lumbar puncture so first of all skin and subcutaneous tissue here we can see first of all skin then subcutaneous tissue then three important ligament first of all this is the supraspinous ligament then interspinous ligament and then ligamentum flavum and then uh, dura and arachnoid matter here we can see this is the dura this is the dura and arachnoid matter this is one is the dura and arachnoid matter here and finally the needle tip it reaches into the cerebrospinal fluid so again as these layers are very very important First of all, skin, then superficial fascia, supraspinous ligament, interspinous ligament, ligamentum pelava, epidural space, dura matter, arachnoid matter, and then subarachnoid space. So, these important layers are passed during the lumbar puncture. So, this is our answer now. It is now ready that the lumbar puncture it performed in the sub arachnoid space other species such as the subdural space epidural space extradural space or interventricular space they are not related to the lumbar puncture epidural space in some condition epidural anesthesia may uh, given or epidural therapeutic drug may be given but for lumbar puncture we have to reach the sub arachnoid space